Hello again, welcome back. This week uh, I've been talking to our old friends at Label Master again, ahead of this year's DG Confidence Survey, uh, which is now open for uh, contributions. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Label Master have actually been looking back and doing a bit more analysis on last year's survey, and they identified what they've um, classified as three different types of DG professional, who, surprisingly, actually account, each account for about one-third of the total responses, which were about 500 last year. They've described these as hesitant laggards, uh, wait and seers and confident competitors. Now, um, there should be a clue in the name. Um, the confident competitors are those who are confident that they've got the ability to uh, keep up with regulatory changes and that what they're doing is good for the company and good for the environment and good for industry. There are the wait and seers who are, by their own estimation, up to speed with what they need to do at the moment, but if things change, they might have difficulty, um, and they're not perhaps getting the support they need to be proactive um, in compliance situations. And there's also the hesitant laggards. Now, these are the people who uh, don't have the investment, don't have the knowledge. Um, and I think looking at last year's figures, some of those um, don't have the interest uh, or will uh, to be able to get themselves up to speed and be the sort of DG professional um, that can be relied on. I think Label Master are uh, well placed in this regard because when I've been talking in the past to event organisers and, and to the regulators themselves, um, and we feel it here at HCB, we have difficulty in reaching those hesitant laggards, as Label Master says, because they're not um, they're not visible in the market because they're not actually taking part. They're not turning up to events, and they're not interacting uh, directly with the regulators either. But Label Master, of course, because they sell labels and placards. I mean, amongst other things, they do a lot more than that. Um, but everybody who's subject to the rules has to buy them, um, then at least a company like that, and you, there are, I should say, other places you can buy your labels and placards from too, uh, but they do have contacts with those who otherwise are invisible. Hopefully some of them will take part in the survey, and you never know, might even manage to turn up to the Label Master DG Symposium in Chicago in the first week in September, where the results of the survey will be uh, made available. To take advantage of this opportunity to have your say, go to www.dghazmatsurvey.com. It's probably under there right now. Um, and let us know what you think. You've got a few weeks to do it, but uh, I will be reminding you. Thanks a lot. See you soon.